Okay. Somebody really amazing just showed me this song. And I'm not going to push play because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But all of y'all know that all of us, we love God. We're crazy about God. You, All of y'all got to check out this song. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And everything that is being said in the song is so deep and so true and so simply said. When you love the truth, then you won't mind going to God and admitting your wrongs. No matter how frustrating it may be, that frustration is so temporary and it is over so quick once you just get it off you. But when you live under your wrongs without acknowledging them, it suffocates the Holy Spirit in you. And you can't hear His voice because you won't let Him speak because you're letting your wrongs remain in you when God gave you the power to take them out. So when you go, we've all done wrongs, all of us, none of us are, we have all fallen short, all of us. So going to God and admitting your wrongs is the same thing that everyone in creation has to do, all of us. So to let your wrongs drown you, you're letting Satan trick you into thinking you can't do it when, as a matter of fact, it just take a couple seconds to go to God. Go to a private place. Speak to God with your mouth. Confess your wrongs. Ask for forgiveness. And a lot of people, when you finally do that, it'll bring you to tears. Because you'll be so happy. Once you, you will feel a paranormal, supernatural lift of weight off your shoulders. And it will be so incredible. And you will see why we are supposed to repent. It will make 100% sense. And you will look back at those wrongs that you held on to. And you will begin to see why the Lord God hates wickedness. Because it is a manipulator. Wickedness is just vile. And you can't spell the word vile without the same letters you need to spell the word evil. Going to God and confessing your wrongs is a key that opens a door to heaven itself. I promise you. So, all y'all check this song out. It'll speak to your soul. It will. Maranatha.